Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's been a crazy couple of weeks for me, which is why I haven't been posting. Due to COVID, I had to make the decision to move from New York back to California where I'm from. As you probably know, moving and packing is extremely chaotic, so I'm really happy to be in California now. But when I was making my decision, I was really torn because I didn't want to move, but I need time to figure out what I'm doing next, and moving back allows me to do that. In a weird way, it also kind of felt like the universe was pushing me to move home because I would be reunited with my childhood piano. Ever since I started playing piano again, I've been dreaming of practicing and playing on an acoustic piano, and it's finally happening. I've been practicing all week, trying to get myself readjusted. I know that it's going to take time, so I don't want to just jump in with my most difficult pieces right away and risk practicing mistakes or creating tension. I'd rather ease my way into it and let myself naturally and instinctively get used to playing on this piano again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you bits of my practice this week, what pieces I'm working on, and how they're helping me relearn the right touch and weight to use on an acoustic piano. Nothing new here. I always start my practice with a chromatic scale, but I think it's even more important to practice this while I'm familiarizing myself with a different piano, as it allows me to touch every key. I'm paying specific attention to the sensation in my hands to feel how much weight is needed to fully penetrate to the bottom of the keys. I'll do the same with a major scale. My goal here is learning the right weight. The keys of an acoustic piano, especially this one, are much heavier than what I'm used to on my digital piano. Once the weight feels familiar in my hands, I'll increase the tempo a little at a time and notice the difference in weight the faster I play. The first piece I'm working on is this Chopin Etude, Opus 25, number 2. I've actually been working on this piece for a couple months now, but I think it'll be perfect to help me get readjusted to playing on this piano. The piece is supposed to be played at a really fast, presto tempo, so I consider it a study on finger articulation and muscle relaxation. Practicing this piece will hopefully teach me how to articulate on an acoustic piano and find how much weight to use to create a clean and clear sound. At the same time, I can practice staying relaxed while applying the heavier weight needed on this piano. I'm doing a lot of slow practice without pedal to focus on these things. Once I can stay relaxed and I'm satisfied with the tone, I'll increase the tempo and incorporate pedal.
This piece is a piano transcription of Francisco Tarrega's Recuerdos de la Alhambra. What would have been played as a tremolo on the guitar is mimicked on the piano with groups of repeated notes. Playing soft repeated notes requires a very sensitive touch and keen listening for evenness and tone. I want to develop this sensitivity on the piano, so I chose to work on this piece. I know that the more times I repeat something, the faster I'll be able to learn it, and I'm repeating the same action a whole lot in this piece. But despite how tedious it could feel sometimes, I know the skills I'll gain will be worth it. still needs a lot of work, but this is what it sounds like a bit faster and with pedal. The last piece I wanted to work on was something less technique heavy and more lyrical. One of the things I'm most excited about playing on an acoustic piano again is having a more colorful range of tones and textures. There's a stark contrast of dynamics in this piece, so I'll be able to play with the sound and practice a full dynamic range. This piece really allows me to explore all the new sounds I can create and it's just so fun to experiment with tone and see what kinds of emotions I can evoke. I hope you guys enjoyed a look at my practice and seeing what pieces I'm working on. I know I still have a long ways to go, but honestly, I'm so excited about the new things I'm going to learn and 
where my music journey is going to take me now that I'm practicing on an acoustic piano again. I kind of consider this channel like a documentation of my piano journey and this feels like a big milestone for me so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.